Good morning, everyone. Today in Hellbreath is raid day. As you can see by the chat logs, whenever someone dies, everyone laughs, yells free, so on, so forth. Today is one of the days where many people spam chat. It's a wonderful thing. As a very new player, I do not want to go anywhere near Arisden City. If I go into Arisden City, this is what could happen. Death. Death like that. That could happen. So the other town can come into our town for up to 60 minutes before they get recalled back to their own town. So we can raid their town and they can raid our town. These guards, they see invisible um, enemies and then they also do some you know, pretty decent damage. But you can still die here, as you can see. So I'm gonna get out of this place and go back to the, my little safe area that is the farm. Oh no, we did it. <laughs> so the other team cannot come to uh, our farm and we can't go to their farm. So as a level eight pleb, I can now focus on leveling and don't need to go fight these very high level players with very good gear. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start leveling this character up. Ooh, look, a wand. Ooh, casting prop ability and crush damage. I will use this so then I can not fail a recall. See how it's 84%. Now it's 93% when I uh, equip the staff. Yeah, it's a start, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, kill some slimes for a while, get some levels, and then we will start talking about... Uh, putting up our stats and uh, get a talent to build in the works. So I've gotten level 12. This should unlock a new quest back up here near Enzo. So I can turn in my slime quest again that I did. I'm just gonna grab money. Yep, new quest is a new challenge. This tells us to kill 200 orcs and two elite orcs. So now we're gonna need to start getting some stats. I did pick up a couple items while I was fighting. Just a magic resistance uh, shirt with some extra gold drop. Nothing too crazy. We did get a wand, which just is a, just an ancient wand, so it does more damage. Crushing exceptional longsword. And then we got this one that we found. And I looted a new dagger as well, an ancient superior. And this stuff that I will just all disenchant. So you can't disenchant all the items, such as the Ancient Superior. Consecutive attack damage is not an enchant, as well as magic damage and consecutive attack damage on a wand. It cannot be uh, disenchanted. So we can either just drop those or sell them to a vendor. So We do got some money. I'm going to actually go sell my ant legs that I got. And antennas. we go we made ourselves about another 2,000 gold keep the slime jellies now let's talk about builds so if we hit f5 and go to level set we have 18 points to put up and uh, here are the stats that we can put up and like I said before character simulator you can hold uh, the shift key and adjust these by tens so let's say we want to go a hundred strength let's go 100 dex and 50 vit that's going to be level 71 as you can see right here so we need to you know i need to kill orcs right now that is my my quest and i want to kill orcs we also need to pick a talent short sword can be really really good because you get your uh regens faster your critical as since i'm level above level 10 now you see this one if I hold Alt, it lights up. That means I do a critical attack 
uh, and I only have one charge since I'm level one. You can get up to, I believe, like 14 charges or something like that. But yes, we need to choose a talent. And I like, as a warrior, I like clubs. So I'm going to choose hammer. Now, this gives you a passive stat to all weapon, even if you are not using a hammer. So my first talent I'm going to choose is a hammer. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can buy just a little hammer from this guy. Anything. Here's a mallet. A superior mallet. So I need 57 strength to full swing this thing. Or, you know, 30 strength to even equip it, which... I don't have yet. I will buy it though, just so I can see what I can get to. Now I can at least use it, but I'm not gonna use it yet. I need to get some dexterity so I can block some attacks from the orcs. They're gonna hit me a lot less. So I'm gonna put 30 dex and 31 strength, and I'm gonna go try to kill an orc. Looks like there's another hammer guy down here tearing stuff up let's see if we can kill an orc we can but here's the thing we will not be able to kill an elite orc if one spawns so we're gonna need some more stats more levels so should i stay here after i'm getting annihilated the answer is probably no i should probably just go over to ants or something still and keep getting some levels so need a little bit more stats to be able to kill these guys efficiently there's also a person at Ants right now. Level 22. They're plus 11. So that's like their rebirth or prestige type level. So I'll go find a different spawn so I'm not messing with this person. I'll be courteous. Did just take an item though that I dropped. SP recovery. Eh, it's garbage. Disenchant. Now there are some scorpions here, but these guys can... Uh, they slap and they poison you and it's not a fun time. So... Don't want to do that. And look at this ant spawn is open. Nice. Now there is some poisonous ants too. Like some mobs have anti-physical, anti-magic. You can still hit those guys. Like an anti-physical one, you can still hit with physical. It just reduces the damage and hit chance and all that. But you can kill them. So don't get scared if you find an anti-physical uh, monster and you are a warrior just you don't uh, for like higher level mobs you probably just don't want to kill those but you know maybe i don't know you probably can especially if you're awesome some of the key items to look out for especially um at this level there's nothing like too good gear wise that you're going to keep forever but to make your experience go a little bit quicker you want to find experience gear and also maybe like hp recovery so you don't you know, every, every tick you actually gain more health. So experience, HP recovery would be ideal. I'm getting tore up here. But uh, that is probably the best items to look out for right now. Hi. Yeah. So we found a bunch of uh, items that I'm going to disenchant. Because it says my bag is full, even though it's not. It's just because I don't have enough weight carry everything so crush chance we can disenchant hit ratio poison damage we can disenchant crush damage what's this hit ratio that's mine sp recovery defense ratio um, it looks like that's all we can disenchant there we go. We got our, our shards and our fragments, and our inventory is cleared up just a little bit more. And we are level 15, moving right along. Let's keep at it. Just finished getting uh, level 21, and my strength is now 57. That is the strength needed to full speed this hammer. And there we go. Now we are of our hammer. Let's go start whacking some orcs. Orcs actually drop axes and hammers. So we can get an upgrade better than the store-bought one from there. There is a guy here, but let's see how we do against him. Doesn't look like we're doing very good. Probably need a little bit more dex before we can actually kill these guys. Yep. 
I'm going to switch back over to the sharp dagger because it has hit ratio on it. Take that out. I think that's what we need. If we can find a hit ratio hammer or that's slightly better, then we can be good because that was an elite orc that we just took out easily. Well, kind of easily. We managed to get into a party with this mage here. We're going to kill some orcs. He heals me as well if I'm getting low. So that works out. Here we are. We killing orcs. This is actually called a zemstone of sacrifice. If you pick this up, if you die, you actually drop a zemstone instead of an actual item in your inventory or an equipped item. So you always want to make sure you're running around with zemstones of sacrifice whenever you're out PvPing or just PvMing in a dungeon or something like that. So I realized the hammer skill was at zero when I was trying to kill those orcs. So I came back over here to the slime to get my hammer percentage up because this actually increases your hit ratio. So that is what I'm going to be doing, getting this up to about like 20% and then head back down to the orcs. All right, so we just got done repairing our items, and I got my hammer skill to 34 instead of stopping at the 20 mark. I haven't tried to kill orcs since. We do have some more stat points to put up. I'm going to put my dex to 50. Uh, it says here, uh, every one dex above 50 equals one hit ratio. So moving forward, I'll add another five. Now we have plus six physical hit ratio on top of it. So that should help us. Let's go get these orcs. Oh, yes. Much better. We're actually hitting them now. And we're doing pretty decent damage. And our hammer skill is going to keep going up too. So not bad at all. And we're almost done with the quest from using the dagger earlier. Going to go ahead and turn in the orc. Quest here. Boom. Accept it again. And we're going to go over to the farm dungeon and do it there. It seems to be a lot easier to kill orcs in the dungeon rather than in the little pit. Uh, plus, you get to be in a group with all these people. Uh, so I'm just going to go to this orc pit though right here. So... I will be by myself right now. I don't feel like running all the way down and around to go up there. I think this is where, like, oh, this is where the Elvines come in. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll just, we'll just kill over here. I just looted a new weapon, Critical Exceptional Mallet. Needs 65 strength to full speed it, though. So let's go ahead and put 65 strength up and the rest on decks for right now. And yeah, this thing is going to be way better. Let's see? 17s, 14s. Yeah, nice. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. Being able to just kill orc after orc. And watch how watch what my crit damage is if I uh Use one of my charges. Check this out. 43s right now. Not bad at all. Alright, I believe that's going to go ahead and sum it up for this video. We hit level 40. Our hammer skill is 52. We've unlocked our second talent point. Don't know what to choose yet. Maybe in the comments below, if you guys can go ahead and... You know, give me some suggestions to go with the hammer build. I'm thinking either tank or Xlima or maybe even archery. Archery seems pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even fire, I believe, uh, has some good passive stats. Uh, chance to crush and crush damage. So that might be even a good thing to do. Um, just kind of throwing it out there. I, I don't know what the best build is for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.